guys, I can't remember the last time I was this excited about a new radio, but I've, I've been wanting this thing for a long time. It's the FX4CR. I just got it from the builder uh, BG2FX over in China. And um, I really, uh, it, this is an upgraded version of what was the FX4C, which was a 10 watt radio. And I ordered one of those, and had, it's a long story, had issues with it, and didn't get it actually. But uh, I waited out and bought this directly from the builder himself. And what, I'm so glad it worked out the way it did. Because this is, this is a 20 watt radio, and I wanted a 20 watt radio because I'm so pleased with what I get out of my 20 watt uh, G90. So I wanted something that was smaller, and, uh, and I could uh, travel with, and this thing is really small. It's not much bigger than a true uh, SDX. I mean, it's really small. Comes in a nice little package too. It, it comes with uh, a, a carry container and nice little uh, packaging that it came with. Really excited about this. It's a cool radio. One thing about this radio too, I mean, I'm, I'm an SSB guy and I'm getting into CW. This thing has a built-in USB sound card and Bluetooth. So if you're a digital guy, this might be the radio for you. Tell you what, I've, I have not put any power to this yet. This will be the first time I've powered this thing up and used it. Um, it's a little windy out here today, so I'm sorry if uh, the, the uh, audio may be a little rough. I apologize ahead of time. It has rained here for days and the rain has finally stopped. And I'm gonna get here and play a little portable right out of the box. First time I put power to it. And uh, we're gonna have a little fun here in the harbor. Stick around. Okay, here's today's setup. That's Norfolk, Virginia over there. And I'm here in my home port and hometown of Portsmouth, Virginia, using my Slidewinder DX coil with a uh, military uh, man pack whip. I love the coil. I use it all the time, especially. There's, uh, I've got one counterpoise wire down into the water. This um, is a new uh, man pack whip. This is the six section man pack whip. I usually use a seven section man pack whip. I got this six section man pack whip because it's a little shorter. Had a lot of problems um, tuning 10 and 12 meters with the longer antenna. Really, you don't need the coil for it. I wanted to be able to just keep the coil all the time. Got the uh, LifePo uh, for a uh, six amp hour battery. And I've also got my uh, iPad there for logging as well. And there it is, the uh, FX4CR. I've got it sitting here. I got a little tray that I got there. There's the uh, the battery and the thing. Tiny little mic, really cool little mic. But uh, yeah, there it is, the FX4CR radio. Really looking forward to getting on the air. This will be the first time powering it up. And we'll see uh, what kind of contacts we can make. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 OGO, you're 59 Georgia. QSL, you are 59 into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Hey, this is a new transceiver, first QSO I've made on it. How's the audio sound? Hey, it sounds really good. Tell me what radio and antenna you're running. Uh, this is the little FX4CR. It's a little tiny 20-watt uh, transceiver. Um, just got it. It's a really tiny, cool little 20-watt um, and down, kind of a QRP thing. The antenna is a, uh, is a Slidewinder DX coil with a military uh, collapsible whip on it. Okay, tell me the radio again. It was it a kit? Did you build it or did you buy it? No, I bought it. It's a. Uh, it's built in China. It's called FX Tech 4CR. FX 4CR, little 20 watt radio from China. It's, it's a pretty new radio. They're they're very new. Okay, good deal. How much does one of those run? If you don't mind me asking. Hey, no problem at all. Five hundred and fifty dollars directly from the builder. And be beware, there are guys on AliExpress and eBay, and uh, they are definitely a ripoff. Be careful if you want to get it. Go straight to the builder. That is a bg2fx.com. Uh, hey, well, I'll hit you up on QRZ, if, uh, but I'm interested in something lighter when I, when I get more portable. Hey, hey, QSL, QSL. I'm actually, I'm a YouTuber, actually uh, doing a video on it. You'll be in the video if you want to hear yourself. I'll probably get it up tomorrow. Uh, the channel is Coastal Waves and Wires. I'm out here testing it for the first time and uh, making a video. I appreciate that. I, I watched a lot of your videos, and uh, I've got a channel also, Ham 
radio portable, so check that out. I would definitely, I will check it out and subscribe for sure. Hey, very nice to make a contact, Well, That radio is sounding good, and I'll catch you again down the line. Hey, thank you so much. 73, my friend. For Oscar Golf Oscar Portable. At which station get portable? Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar uh, Portable. You have a little bit of a distortion in the audio there, Walt. That was a 5 and 3. 5 and 3, but distortion in the audio, Roger. Roger, Roger, thank you. Just 20 watts with the little uh, QRP rig. I'll have to adjust that. Thank you so much for the, for the report. No problem there, Walt. Yeah, you have to do something on it because it's RF and your audio is completely distorted. Okay, be careful before you do some equipment damage. Check it out, but uh, have you in the rack. It's no problem. K4 Oscar Golf Oscar Portable from Oscar Papa to Old Fuckley. Okay, lesson learned on the fly. I corrected that pretty quick, and I'm happy. I had the mic gain set at 30. I was warned that mic gain on this, you need, from what I've read in groups and had some messages sent to me, uh, mic gain is really what I would have to work with. I had the mic gain at 30 for that QSO and then took it down to 20 and was fortunate enough to catch that same person to uh, to compare and, and see if, that, if it was the mic gain that was causing the problem where he said my, uh, my audio was distorted. Right now it is no problem. I uh, see we had a few minutes ago uh, contact to uh, Walt and I was uh, mentioning something about the audio distortion. But now it seemed to be clear. Uh, you figured it out there, uh, Roger? Roger, Roger. I just brought the mic gain down. The mic gain I had at 30. I brought it down to 20 and that seemed to be the problem. Now it's clear. It, it, it has a little bit of whiteness in there. Uh, not too much highs and not too much compression. No, uh, good readability, Walt, Roger. Yeah, well, thank you so much for coming back to me again. I really appreciate it. I'm just trying to dial this thing in, so thank you so much. Hey, no problem, Walt. Bye-bye, Bravo 5 X-ray, beaming stateside, QRZX. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Uh, the Kilo 4, the Kilo 4, Oscar, come again? Yes, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Roger, K4, OGO, a K4, OGO, is that Roger, Roger? Uh, QSL, QSL, the name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm portable, portable, but just 20 watts. Yeah, Roger, Roger, K4 OGO, Bob, uh, Bulls from 5 X ray, the name is Bob, uh, Bravo Ocean, Bravo Rick. Thank you very much from Portsmouth, Virginia. Happy Easter for you and the family, all right? Uh, QSL, happy Easter to you as well. You are 5 8, 5 8 here into Portsmouth. Yeah, Roger, thank you very much for the 5 and 8 radio report here, buddy, and we show the good best luck. God bless from the Netherlands. Kilo 4, Oscar, Germany, Ontario, from Virginia, Papa, Bosco, 5 X ray, 73, and QR Heady X, North America. Charlie, Oscar, Ike, Lima, Yankee, Canada, Oscar, Ike, Lima, Yankee, QR set. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, again. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, 5-9, QSL. QSL, QSL, you are 5-9 into Virginia. Thank you for reporting Virginia, 73, Charlie, Oscar, 8, Lima, Yankee, QRZ. Okay, to say that I'm excited about this radio might be a little bit of an understatement. Man, I'm really excited. What a cool radio. Awesome. Um, little tiny mic. I mean, it's small, like I showed you earlier. It's not much bigger than a true SDX. And, uh, but it's solid, man. Metal. It's just a great little radio. I don't do uh, button by button, option by option videos. I, I don't do unboxings or, or, or explain a lot of things. I just like to get out and operate and show how they work. Um, and this one worked very well. I'm excited about it. Cool thing about this radio is it's uh, six meters too, six through 80 meters. So, um, you know, as the band opens and, and, and six meters starts really happening, I got a cool little radio now to take out and operate on, you know, six meters. And I'm excited about that. Cool little mic too. I know it looks kind of cheap, but uh, hey, it works and it worked well. And I'm pleased with it. A learning curve for me, a few things I learned there, uh, you know, especially the adjustment. The only adjustment I made on this thing was, uh, power and um and, and the mic gain and what's really funny and what i didn't realize is you have to, going from band to band you have to switch the power and uh one of those QSOs i thought i was uh chugging along at 20 watts it was a five watt qrp QSO across the pond so how cool is that and i would i didn't even realize it at the time i thought i was pushing 20 watts so really cool um 
I'll put uh, it, it's a simple link. link uh, I'll put a link down in the uh, description to uh, to you. Uh, Yu you he is the builder to his uh, website. I, I highly recommend if you want to buy one of these, um, buy it from directly from him and not off of any other channel, uh, other uh, means, e especially eBay. I did a video months ago when I first tried to get the original the uh, the FX. 4C, and I got burned, and, and and I got my money back, but it was a problem. Um, directly from the builder is obviously the way to go. I love it. I know this radio has gone through uh, some uh, some updates with uh, firmware. It's got some bugs. It's got some issues. It's brand new, and it's going to have those. But um, for what I'm using it for, for sideband and for uh, and it'll be used for CW. I'm really excited about this thing. I mean, it's, it's so cool. It's just. Man, what a cool little radio, and I'm just pleased as punch with it. I really am. Um, really want to get out. I think what I really need to do is um, I, I need to use it with an ATU and, and some other antennas. I mean, I love my uh, Slidewinder um, and, and, and that type of thing. But, I mean, to really do some really cool, I mean, the wind is picking up here. I'm on, they, they, hey, We've been through some, uh, some stormy times here, so I apologize. The audio is probably horrible. But, anyway, uh, what I was saying is I really want to get a uh, – this thing together with with a nice ATU and um, and and experiment with some other antennas and have fun with it. Anyway, that's it. I'm Walt K4OGO. I hope you enjoyed it. Go look at other people's channels on, and reviews on this thing and um, and, and look at about how to operate it or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of really uh, great uh, ham YouTubers out there. If you want to learn more about this radio, just want to see somebody use it, then you come to the right place. Anyway, 73, my friends. See you soon.